I'm just doing some cleaning out. My daughter had pants piled up to here, and I'm just seeing which ones are going to go into this bag, which is where I keep things that they're about to grow into or that they have grown out of. And someone's joining me. Hello. I'm okay. Yay. Are you a weird butterfly, Mummy made? Yeah, Mummy's a butterfly too. I won't show you. Do you like my comforter? It's my favorite. It's a really nice soft, um, I don't know what you'd call it. It's just beautiful. It's a, from a Korean shop and it's so pretty and it's actually warm. You can use it just for decoration, which we do, but it's really warm too. Are you jumping on the bed? Ready? Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Hello. She looks a bit scary. Um, so what I'm getting rid of, I'm getting rid of a shirt of mine that I sort of, every time I look at it, I don't like this color. I really like blacks and navies, but this tan is on the shoulder part and it looks good on me, but it doesn't flatter my face. Um, as you can see, I'm very pale. So yeah, these are some of my daughter's pants that she's fitting now, but just every time I look at them, I don't like them. This is a top of my older daughter's. I was saving for my younger daughter and... I just like, like the pattern, you know, the magic of tidying up. She said, Marie Kondo says, if it doesn't bring you joy, you have to say goodbye to it. And that's what I'm doing. This is a beautiful top. Friends of mine will recognize this. It's been through a lot. Um, it's been through a few kids that we know. And now it's got a few stains. I've, I think she, we've worn it to bits. We've soaked it to bits. It's just a bit raggy now and it's getting really thin too. So finally, I think this is the end of it. And this is actually a top that I've pulled out of the bag. Um, it's from a Korean stall that we went to before. Mari or Marie. It's a five, which is it's a different sizing for the Korean or maybe Asian brands. Um, so this would fit my two-year-old now. It would be a little bit on the big side, tiny bit big, but it will fit her really well probably by summer. So I'll just take that out now. Um, and I also got this out of the bag, which is from overseas. I think this is from Turkey. Yeah, Elsie Waikiki baby. It's actually going to fit her now. I didn't think this would fit for a long time. Little baby. Um, yeah, so she's two now. And this is just her length. So we'll add this to her winter stuff. It's coming into winter here. It's really cold this week. Like, oh, cold for Australia is like 15 or so. That's really cold during the day. Um, so that's what we're having now. And these are some new pants that I actually just took out of the cupboard while I was sorting. These are from, I think it's just from Big Dog Target, size one. And Sorry, the camera just cut out. Um, these are one, these are from Target. And we just got these recently, like maybe a couple of months ago. And I didn't think they'd fit her for a while. It's a little pussy cat. And look, it says, happy. She's not happy now, she's crying. It says happy and this is really, you know those puffy stickers? It feels like that. Oh, wailing babies. And it's got glittery here. I love this sort of thing. Things that have something a little bit special on them, even though they're ordinary, they're just track pants. And I really prefer the tight cuff down here. Um, we have one pair here. They are a loose cuff at the bottom. I really hate them. Yeah, these are... Um, these are wide cuff at the bottom. I really don't like them, but um, I'm just keeping them for pajama or, you know, when the kids are just mucking around the house and doesn't matter what they're wearing. Um, yeah. And this is, I suppose these fit her now, but they're so thin. They're like paper thin. And now that it's coming into winter, it is May here. Winter is June. Oh, no, it's the 1st of June now. It's June, so it is winter. Um, yeah, these are a zero. They still fit her well. Um... But there's no way she's going to wear these again. Yeah, good. And these are some jeans from a friend of ours. These are so lovely and she loves them so much. But they are uh, very tight now. When she wears them, um, these get really tight around the calf muscles. So time to go into the bag for the next baby. And this one as well. These are lovely, but they're just too small. There's just... These are like little dinosaur pants. There's not much left in them. And over here I have some some things that I've pulled out of the bag. Um, 
and they are just you know when you get the you've washed the clothes there's no stain but then after a while it becomes sort of a milk stain and just a weird smell around the outside so just to keep these in good condition I'm just going to give these a soak in some stain remover and see how they go I don't know if it'll fully come out this one's not bad it's got a couple of spots of something this is my favorite my nine-year-old she wore this when she was a baby it's baby by mini haha -Ha. this is like one of the best brands I don't know what size it is it just didn't have a tag when I got it I got it second hand um, yeah it's just velvety and beautiful it sort of wraps around it's a little bit warm it's just like you know those old-fashioned face cloths or washes it just reminds me of that it's just so beautiful on the babies um, two of my girls have worn it now so I think I'm always going to keep this one it's just beautiful so that's what we're doing today, or tonight rather. Nice Friday night at home. And I think I've sorted the shirts out enough. There's little summer dresses here. I hope they fit here by summer or by September-ish when it gets warm. More dresses here. These are some nice long sleeve dresses and they're thick, so they'll be good. And these are her long sleeved little suits for under things. And yeah, plenty of pajamas. Okay, I hope you guys have a nice night. Bye.